This is an X-Star VC8. It'll charge, discharge, analyse, capacity test and everything else, 8 batteries. Well, not all at once. And this is the box. We don't do unboxing, so this is the box you get. With the destruction, and I've got two batteries with it. I don't know if you, you get two batteries with it normally, but there was two batteries in it. Anyway, here's the destructions, tell you how to use it. So we don't need them. It comes with a USB-C cable, uh, which you plug in the back. It's not a very long cable, that's the only downside. Now, I haven't got a power supply, I can't, I haven't got anything to plug this in, so I've got my power bank. So you plug it in, and it comes on, believe it or not. Fantastic. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this screen. Uh, when I come to test it, I'll turn the lights off so as you can. You can do 26650 and 18650. 21700, 21700. An 18650 protected cell, normal 18650 cells. And another normal 18650 cell, which is, this is a fake LG2, LG HG2, that was it. So you can put them all in there, like that, and then it tells you on screen the status of it. Now that, as it stands, is just a charger. You can charge eight batteries at the same time and it will actually drain as much as the power supply or whatever else is pumping into it will take. Uh, obviously you can't do any more so you'll see that one two three four five that's about one and a half amps which is the maximum this will pump out obviously you need a cable suitable something two and a half amps I think maximum um, anyway so if I take those out so it's got it's got eight channels so you can do eight batteries at once you can't do eight 26 650s but you can do 8 21 700s because they will fit in there fine uh, 26 650s if I get another one so it won't it won't fit in that it won't fit in the next one so you, so you can only do two 26 650s at once in actual fact no because you can do four you can actually charge four at once but I'm only talking about the left channel here at the minute, the first four slots. The first four slots can be used to do a capacity test, a grade, uh, uh, what do they call it, grad? Which is a gradence, is it gradence or something like that? Anyway, uh, fuck, I can't f shit at this. <laughs> I can't even, I can't see the screen. My eyes are getting that bad, I can't see the f screen anymore. Found them, right. I'm not on about this screen, I'm on about the screen on this so as I can see if you can actually see what's going on. So, if I, right, the mode you've got, you set it, if you, if you long press the mode button it says cur, which is current, and then you set the amount of current that you want it to charge at. So you keep pressing, so I want to charge these at one and a half, or one amp. Oh, it does one amp or two amps, so as you can see that's going up to one amp. That one's nearly full so it won't go up. God. That one's nearly full so it won't go up all the way. And if I hold it again, how are you going to see this? Hang on. That's better. So if I hold the left button, you see the next one says grad. Well what that will do is it will do a capacity, a capacity test, it will charge it to full, drains it down to nothing and then charges it back to full and it gives you what capacity in milliamps it's actually um, used or from you know what the capacity is. Store will just take it down to storage voltage which is 3.7 volts. Uh, current obviously I've just shown you that. Capacity you can set the capacity so it will automatically cut off. Internal resistance will just give you the internal resistance of the battery. It does take a while. It does take a while sometimes. 
purely because it has to calculate it. And then if I hold that down again, I can do a grad, which I don't know what that stands for. Someone's going to bloody pull me up on that and say, you should know. It's to do with gradient testing or some, I don't know, some shit. So, or if I set it back to current, that'll now charge it at one, one and a half amps or whatever it was. So I'll now go back to the other one, the, the, the other screens. Are you f kidding me? As soon as I start making a video, someone starts drilling in the f***ing wall. So, if you press these buttons quickly, which I can't show you, you can set the current, the capacity, the internal resistance, and also on this one as well, the capacity, internal resistance, and the current. So if I set the current on that one to 1 amp, uh, the capacity I'll just leave, the internal resistance that will just display when it when it brings the internal resistance up and then I can just put these in here get another one of those I'll get a protected cell there and then I'll get a 21700 in there so what that will do now is the maximum amount that it will actually take which you can't really see because of the lights um, it will just keep charging and these until they're full. This one you can do internal you can do internal resistance and everything else the same as that one but you can also do a capacity test. Obviously you, I mean if you wanted to you could put four 18650s in there like that like that and that'll do all those four cells at once. I've always wanted a battery charger that I can do this with. And that's the only one I know that does it. You can charge four of those at the same time and those two, like I say, you can do um, a capacity test but you can also put all these into storage and plus which you can then put 18650s in the cells in between like that. 21700 don't fit if you've got a 26650 in it like that. So it will charge all of them and it will do analysis on the left hand side. So I think this is going to be useful to some people, especially people who are testing these 26650s or 18650s. You can tell you can do analysis on four of them at the same time, or you can charge eight of them at the same time. So you can check all your internal resistances of the cells on all of the eight banks, and on the left hand ones, you can do um, just the capacity test and everything else. Link in the description, go and buy one. They're going to be handy for you if you want to test cells before you actually build a pack. <laughs>